Four hospitals right here in Texas on that list, including Methodist Dallas Medical Center, which shared this video of the delivery truck arriving. Good afternoon. I'm Brooke Katz. This is CBS 11 News at 4, now streaming on CBS in Dallas, Fort Worth. And despite the progress in the fight against COVID-19, new this afternoon, the virus has killed 300,000 Americans. While it will be several months until most of us are able to get the vaccine, health care workers inside Methodist Dallas became some of the first in the nation to do so. So let's get straight out to Steve Pickett joining us live outside of Methodist Dallas. Steve, how did everything go there today? You know, from every indication, the process worked for those individuals who work inside this hospital, as you mentioned, Brooke, being the first in North Texas to be the recipients, essentially defined as those individuals who are defined as most susceptible to this infection, first in line now for what's defined as its protection. Doctors, nurses, other employees here providing direct care for patients, getting the immunization shots. They started just after 10 o'clock this morning. The first was actually Teresa Mata. She's an employee who cleans hospital rooms in this facility, including the COVID unit. She's a mother of four. Uh, Methodist Dallas receiving just under 6,000 doses of the Pfizer vaccine when that UPS delivery truck arrived here earlier this morning. The vaccinations are voluntary, but deemed crucial by hospital leadership here, who said the shots are viewed as a protector against the pandemic. 100 or so frontline hospital workers recipients today, and Methodist officials say the vaccinations are also meant as a statement of reinforcement to those concerned about the safety of these shots. We already have 500, 500 of our medical staff members who have signed up. Those are the same doctors that we trust day in and day out to take care of literally tens of thousands of patients, ourselves included. And if it's good enough for my medical staff and our medical staff, and they believe it's safe, then certainly uh, I believe it's safe as well. And this medical staff will see this replicated just a few blocks from where we are now as you head north to Parkland Hospital and UT Southwestern. They will receive these same doses of the allotment for them on tomorrow. We are told 19 facilities receiving them throughout the state of Texas today. We also know at least seven other locations here in North Texas, mainly hospitals, will receive those doses this week. Reporting live, Steve Pickett. CBS 11 News. A busy week ahead, Steve. Thank you so much.